My name is Dr. Debbie Knapp from the Comparative Oncology Program in the College of Veterinary Medicine at Purdue University. We see many dogs with a type of bladder cancer called invasive transitional cell carcinoma, or TCC for short. In most cases, the dog owner realizes there's a problem because of blood in the urine and changes in urinary habits. If infection and bladder stones have been ruled out, then these symptoms raise concern for TCC. We are always glad to talk to pet owners about treatment options and eligibility for clinical trials based on the diagnosis. When selecting TCC treatment, we consider surgery, radiation therapy, and drugs. Most TCC masses in dogs, however, are not in a place that can be removed surgically. And the mobility of the bladder within the abdomen can make radiation therapy challenging. For these reasons, most dogs with TCC are treated with medical therapy. Our interest in bladder cancer actually sprang out of some earlier research we did with a type of drug called non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or COX inhibitors. And what we learned was that there are anti-cancer effects noted in several different tumor types, but the one where there was the most impressive activity was in bladder cancer. We're looking at what causes it, how do we prevent it, we're looking at how do you find it early, we're looking at characterizing it because knowing it at the molecular level, that will help us understand how can we attack it differently, how can we find it more effectively, and how can we eventually cure it. Our treatment trials are showing considerable promise with drugs that specifically target the cancer cells while sparing or limiting damage to normal cells. There are no placebos involved. Each dog receives the actual medicine that we expect to cause the cancer to regress, or at least to keep it from growing, and to be well tolerated. In addition, our group at Purdue has embarked on TCC prevention, or more specifically, screening, early detection, and early intervention. We completely understand that every dog we see is a beloved member of the family. Compassionate care is of the utmost importance to us. With treatment, 75% of the dogs with TCC will enjoy months to a year or more of good quality life. There's some incredible opportunities for dogs helping us inform research that then is done on people and will make a difference. Each year, more than 65,000 people are diagnosed with urinary bladder cancer. The way to make progress against cancer is research, and research costs more and more these days. People often ask me how they can help our work and how the work can move as quickly as possible. First, if your dog develops TCC, you could consider allowing him or her to participate in a clinical trial, and allowing an autopsy when the dog dies would also be helpful. Second, there are labs enlisting pet owners to send samples of blood and urine from their dogs to gain a better understanding of how TCC develops and how to find it early. Third, and perhaps most importantly, you could make a monetary donation for canine TCC research. I cannot tell you how much we appreciate this support and how incredibly important it is. I'm driven to come to work every day because I know every day we're going to learn something that's going to improve the outlook for dogs and people with cancer. With your support, we can together overcome TCC.